Hello everyone and today we're gonna customize Windows 10. For this tutorial you will need to patch your Windows and how to patch Windows. You can watch my tutorial how to patch Windows 10 for custom themes from version 1903 up to the version 2004 and then you can start. Today what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a custom theme custom icon pack, how to change the system fonts and how to install the custom icon pack. Okay, let's start. First, go ahead and download the team. The team is Sweetness for Windows 10 and it's working from 1903 up to the 2004. You need to make account on DeviantArt to download the team. After that, go ahead and download the icon pack. Here is the download link. Then, for changing system fonts, uh, you will need Win Arrow Tweaker. So, download it here. And then, if you want, you can use this style of the font, source code. Uh, this font is used in this theme. And it's gonna look like this. Uh, but I'm not gonna install that font. I have already installed my font. I will show you later how. So when you download all of them, we can start. Also, you will need to download 7TSP application that will change your icons on the windows. The link is also in the description below. Okay, I will start from the icons. I will extract the files from the winner. Okay, this is deep in icon pack we have icons for dark themes and we have icons the for the light themes I'm gonna choose light theme because I'm gonna show you the light theme and the sweetness is light theme okay choose one of them we have deep in blue brown green or slate I'm gonna choose blue and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna right click and I will rename and then I will delete this I will hit the enter yes and that's it now I'm gonna open the 7 TSP I will run it as administrator from here go to the add a custom pack and find the icon pack that you have rename it okay click open and here click start patching I will stop recording and I will be back when it's done Okay, now you need to restart your windows and then after restarting I will be back. And I am back and the 7TSP says that the system has been patched and I will click OK. And I have completely new icons on my windows. Okay, now we're gonna apply a team. So extra the files from the winner, open the folder and what we get here we have a food bar skin, we have Nexus Ultimate skin, this is uh, for Rocket Dock or Nexus Dock, we have pink folders custom icon pack. So how to install these icons, the process of installation is the same like I just showed you in this video. To install this icon pack, rename this, click yes, and then open the 7TSP app. Okay, I'm gonna open it. But one important thing uh, you need to know when you're installing any custom icon pack, you need to have the false Windows icons on the system, and then you can install any custom icon pack. So here, if you have let's say custom icon pack do not install another custom icon pack over this one so you need to remove custom icon pack and then install a new one so here just select the pink folders click open And here just click start patching and the patching will start restart your PC and you will have the pink folders on your Windows 10 
Okay, I'm not gonna install it because somehow I don't like the pink folders. Okay, I will go back. We have a rain meter skin. I'm gonna install it. We have start is back, custom start button. We have wallpapers and we have a theme. Here we have a floating taskbar and the regular taskbar. So for floating taskbar, you will need to have start is back like me. But anyway, I'm gonna choose the regular taskbar. I will copy all of it, go to this PC, local disk C, Windows. I will go to the resources, themes, and I will paste it. Okay, then I will go to personalize, themes, and here I will choose sweetness. Okay, we have also sweetness dark, but I'm not gonna use the dark theme in this video. Okay, now I will go to the start is back plus plus and from here uh, we can select this custom start menu that goes with the theme, like this one. Then I will change the custom start button. So I will go to this green little plus and then I will go to the sweetness folder and from here I will go to start is back start orb and I will open this one and I will select it and I get the new custom start button I will click OK now we have the custom icons and the custom theme and now for changing the system fonts you will need to install Win Arrow Tweaker and when you install it click open click yes here and on the left side you have many options but one option that we are looking for is this one system font so from here we can choose to use system default fonts or you can use the following font so right below it says current system font sample so I already have custom font and to change the font click here change system font and from here select your favorite font also you can use this font uh, this one is really cool source code pro you can extract the files from from the winner and you can install all of them right click and click install and when you install it just from here you can change system font I don't know select one of these click OK and you will get a sample of how the font is gonna look like and after you do that you will need to restart your PC for the effects to to change and that's it Okay, now in the sweetness folder we have wallpapers. We have three of them. We have this one, this one, and this one. And I didn't like any of them. Maybe this one is really cool, but I have made my own wallpapers. I have this one and this one. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna use this one to the desktop background. Now I will go to the to my documents and from here I'm gonna run the system transparency this will give me a little bit of the glass effect on my windows so I'm just gonna show you how it's gonna work and I will set the number of the level of the transparency to 120 and from here I will select to affect all explorer windows I will click OK and if you can see I have the glass effect which is really nice okay this is uh, what I'm looking for also I forgot to to open the rain meter and we have a sweetness 
Rainmaker skin. Okay, there you go. Now I will just a little bit set up my desktop and I will quick preview this custom theme and the custom icons which is really amazing fitting together. Okay, that's it. That's how you can customize Windows 10. This is a little, a little bit more than customizing. We have installed custom icons, custom theme. We have changed system fonts, and for me, these fonts are really great fitting to the custom theme. And that's it. If you have some question, leave in the comment below. And thank you for watching.